All right, everyone, we just got to the barn before the sun even wakes up. How did we get here? Well, let's go back to the beginning of the day. It's early morning. I'm gonna show you some of my responsibilities as a horse groom on a day off from riding. So let's get this day started. Oh, yes, we did it. You can't tell, it's definitely a bit of a foggy ride. My jacket is drenched, let's keep going. Oh. I always cut the engine and just drift in so that I don't just scare any of the horses. So here we are, just rolling on in. Okay, now that you're all caught up, we're gonna go through a little bits of my day while I'm here at the barn. Um, it's not gonna be like a vlog of everything. It's just gonna be when I can film. I'm gonna show you some of the responsibilities I have around here. It's a day off for the horses for riding. Um, so I'm mostly on my own. Care, I'll bring you your breakfast. Well done. Okay, let's go. All right, first thing is to get out of my driving outfit. And I'll need this. I bright red so I'm seen on the road. And then we get into my working outfit. All right, let's go. First thing I need to do is give some medicine to one of the horses. So I'm going to start with that. Good girl, Here we go, honey. Good girl. Good job. Ready? There we go. Now that we've done that, we have to feed the hungry hippos. It's four different training programs here, so there's a lot of hay. Our stack is over here. This one belongs to us, so we'll go feed him. Well, that didn't stay. Next thing I'm responsible for is making and feeding grain. That could add a lot of time to this video, so we're gonna skip ahead. All right, everyone's grain is made. I always add water to all of them, even if they don't need it, but especially the ones that have some hay pellets, fluff it up. The water, extra water is always good for hydration, and then it also mixes in all the powders and oils they get. You can help me do papers. Paper! Paper! Oh, hi. Missing out the green bucket. All right, now that they're all eating their breakfast, I'm going to go through and scrub out their water buckets and then give them new water. Imagine that ten more times with ten more horses. Okay, I'm going to fill up the rest of this room and skip ahead again. All right, now that waters are done and they've been eating their breakfast, it's time to start getting some of the horses out for the day. So why don't you help me get Piper out? Let's go get her. If you're new to my page, this is my famous pony Piper. 
she does a lot of talking videos. She literally talks to me in a lot of my YouTube shorts. So after this video, make sure you go find some of Piper talking, but let's bring her to turn out. All right, Piper, here you go. You enjoy your morning, okay? Good girl. Good girl. Hope that horse is coming to say hi to you. Get this off. You gonna go say hi to it or just stay? Yeah, do you do your own thing, Piper? All right, have a good morning. All right, this is my horse Kira. My mother-in-law bred her, so we've known her since she's a baby. She is nine years old now. She's featured in a lot of my goofier skits where I'll go in her stall and dance with her. Um, but she's going to start her day on the walker, so why don't you help me bring her over there so she can get some extra exercise. Oh, this looks like your spot, Kira. So I do always bring a big water bottle, but I like to, when I start to do stalls and start my day, I like to use a, have some electrolytes. So I, as I'm going through the stalls, I always have a bottle of electrolyte water in my back pocket. Just to stay hydrated. Oops. I forgot to drink some off the top. Let's go with that. All right, that'll dissolve in my back pocket. I gotta go get started on cleaning the stalls. Okay, we actually covered a lot in the morning routine. Uh, we have horses in turnout, we have horses on the walker. While they're out of their stalls, I'm gonna clean their stalls. This will take a couple hours. I don't think I'm gonna film, and I'm a little reluctant to film cleaning stalls or anything that shows manure because back on another social media platform, I realized any video I did that featured horse manure would get shadow banned. Even if it's a really funny one, it would just shut off because I think people are sensitive to seeing manure. So I'm not gonna show that part. Um, when I have a new responsibility, I'll pop in next and kind of show you what I'm doing. Uh, so the rest of the day I think will be sporadic because I'm about to get pretty busy. But um, yeah, we'll go through more of my responsibilities. Stay tuned on the next clip right after this. Just finished cleaning the Kira stall. I need to put down a new bag of shavings. I really like showing my method for opening the bag of shavings. I think it's the most efficient way. So I'm going to show you. Bags outside there, unopened. I'm going to grab it and show you how quickly my method works. I showed it before and a lot of people will be like, I use a knife and it's much faster. I disagree. I think you need to bring it in, get the knife out, open it, put the knife away. I did that all on the run. So if you think your knife is faster, see if you can time it faster than that. All right, I'm not quite done with stalls yet. I have two more to go, but I'm at a point in my day where I'm going to do some hand walks. So some of the horses who can't go on the walker for extra exercise on a non-riding day, I'll get them out and walk them. Liberty, um, she's fully recovered now from an injury, but the walker is just a little too dangerous, so I'll get on it. Or no, I won't get on her. I'll be hand walking her now for a little bit. Um, during the week, Ashley will get on her to get her some exercise, but on a day off, I'll, uh, I'll go for a walk with her, take her out, and then after I'm gonna ice her leg. Just again, you know, be proactive, like treat that old injury, just always ice it. So I'll show you that after this walk. We're done walking, Liberty's got her ice on. I'm gonna clean her stall, it's the first one here while she's out of it. She loves her ice. Human, I say humans take ice baths, she takes ice naps. She just falls asleep into it. Um, and I can see her from the stall, so she's the only one I'll do that with. But she's gonna ice, I'm gonna clean her stall, and then I'm gonna come back and groom her because she's a little dirty. While I'm cleaning, I just do a quick peek at her. She's still relaxed. All right, we finished all our morning tasks, our hand walks, turnouts, stall cleaning, icing. Now we're gonna go get some lunch again. It's lunch time for the horses. I also gotta blow the aisles clean, so let's do that. Water and 
make sure they have plenty of water, but also make sure they're drinking water too. They gotta stay hydrated. Okay, the horses are all tucked in eating their hay. I'm gonna take a little lunch break for myself, so um, I'm gonna take a little break and probably edit the first half of this video while I'm on lunch. All right, lunch break's over. I'm out on another walk right now with this guy. He's gonna get ice after all his pooping cut. All right, he's gonna get ice after the walk, but we're out here walking in the dressage arena. Okay, well, the horse I just walked is icing. I like to hang out with him, and while I do that, I re-roll the wraps from the, that the horses wore the night before. So I'm gonna show you my method that I use. This comes in handy for it. Let's roll one. I probably won't time-lapse the rest. I'll just show you when they're done. I always take the Velcro, fold it over on itself, and then I use the bar to roll it up and keep things flat. Moving it forward and back gets the folds out of it. And I can go as fast as I want in the middle section. It's almost done. Okay, that one is rolled up. What I'll do next, I usually do this on my leg, but you can't see it down there. I kind of do a burrito roll. Take the wrap and then, you know, leave a tail because when you put it on, you can hold that tail. I'll show you later in the day. And you just burrito roll it so it's all stored together inside, ready to go on the horse's leg later. After hand locks and after turnouts, I will groom the horse, get them cleaned up. That could add a lot of time to this video, and I'm going to be doing plenty more grooming videos, so we'll save that for a future video. Subscribe. All right, this guy here will be out on grass in the afternoon, so let's bring him to the grass paddock. Good boy. Okay, enjoy your grass. I missed the beginning of his roll when I was locking the gates, but first things first, gotta roll. Oh, gotta get the other side. There we go. Okay, he's gonna be on grass for a while. Here's another in-between task, laundry. I did the towels, now we're doing some boots. Put them in the dryer. Off for a walk with this one now. All right, time to get this guy. Out there enjoying. He sees me. Red, eat some more grass. Get him. All right, we're out on another walk with Liberty. Okay, I said I would show you wrapping the legs later in the day. This one gets wrapped at night. This standing wrap is a therapeutic standing wrap. It has like carbonized embedded charcoal in it and helps with circulation, but also protects their legs at night. So I showed you my burrito method with the tail. Basically that helps you put it back on. It's all together. I can hold that tail with my fingers. Let's start on the inside and then Go around, we can wrap her leg. Even pressure all around. When we pull from front to back, we're not pulling on the tendon in the back. Get out of the folds and wrinkles. All right, I'll do the other ones on my own. All right, we're at a point in the day where the horses are exercised. They've been walked, turned out, been on pasture. They're all, the horse care's done. It's time for me to clean the stalls again. So I'm gonna go through and clean all 10 stalls. I can do that on my own this time. Again, these horses have been out all day. The afternoon stall cleaning tends to go a lot faster than the morning stall cleaning. We're cleaning Piper's stuff now. Hi, Piper. Love you. All right, just at the wheelbarrow, stalls are done. I'm gonna head over and make sure the turnout is clean. It wasn't clean, so I'll pick it out. All right, next we make afternoon grain. We like to feed grain twice a day, so I'm gonna make that my afternoon grain now. You've seen this part already. Same thing, but now in the afternoon. 
Just gotta wrap some more legs that night too. Here we are once again. All right, it's time for dinner, hey. You've seen this before. Hey again. All right, hay is fed. Now I gotta go blow back the mess I made with the hay. So we blow the aisles again. Okay, blowing is done, but now I need to go get the broom. Well, the broom's right there. Sweep up the mess I left in the cross ties. Ta-da! Okay, horses are tucked in. Things are looking clean. And I just have two more tasks left today. I have to top off waters. End of the day, so there's plenty of water for the night. Waters are done. Oh, hello. Last on my to-do list is making grain for the morning. I usually like to make in the morning, but Mondays, are, I usually take the day off. If not, I sleep in. And so I make the grain for our other groom to feed in the morning. So I'm just preparing it for tomorrow so I can sleep in a little bit. All right, that's it for me. That's what a Sunday looks like for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love feedback because I want to do this more often and make some longer videos. So I think I'm going to leave music out of it because I, I like hearing the sounds of the barn. Um, but if you want some background music on the next one, let me know. And I'll try to make some more vloggy ones. This was just like things that I'm responsible for on a Sunday. So stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. I like to make a lot of funny shorts. You'll like my shorts. I'm trying to do some more long form videos. So stay tuned for that. And we have to say goodnight to the horses on the way out. Good night, Richard. She's eating. Good night, Kira. Hi. Good night. I love you. Always check their doors, make sure they're locked on the way out. Piper. Good night, Piper. Hey. Hey, Piper, I love you. Thank you all for watching. Oh, it's shaky. It's time for me to go home. <laughs>